This land has spouted a growing legacy of farmers whose hearts are as big as their harvest. The Fields family has been serving Charleston residents and beyond for generations with fresh and now organic produce. The Fields Farmers Market is a staple in Johns Island, supplying locals with produce that has a taste you just can't get at the grocery store. It's not as flavorful or potent of a flavor. It's more muted. Whereas when you get the stuff, especially when you pick your own strawberries, I mean, it's just like biting heaven. The legacy of this Gullah Geechee family dates back three generations with Robert Sr. and Nancy Fields. Joseph has since taken over the stunning 50-acre farmstead and continued on their legacy. I learned from my parents. And uh, as I was a young fella, I go to the farm when I was young and watched my daddy plant stuff and harvest stuff. And I had to hold it and keep it clean and whatever. Thing. Now we use plastic, plastic mulch to keep it clean. You know, farming is a job that you have to love it. You know, cause it's a tough job, but you got to love it. And love it he does, so much so that Joseph set out to grow chemical-free produce over a decade ago. Now, he is certified organic. So organic is nothing, nothing easy to get into. So you got to know where to get the chemical from and the fertilizer from, how much you use or whatever. And it's, it's a job, because if you don't have the right chemical, the bugs eat you up. If you got the right fertilizer, the stuff wouldn't grow. And once, once, I, once I learned that and get stuff started, organic is the way I, I want to be. As a farmer, especially in South Carolina, the ongoing drought could drastically affect crops. You couldn't control the drought because once it gets dry, everything don't, don't last as long. You may have a, a good crop this week, and then by being so dry, next week it's done gone. You know, you got to have some type of water to keep it going or the drought will wash you out. However, Joseph says the drought is not washing him out, as the fields have an irrigation system running throughout their farm that they implemented back in 1998. We got a um, pipe there in the dirt and a, and a sprinkler stick up above the dirt that we get the water from. And you got to have that to really support your farm. From planting to selling, all is done on the same land. Just a short distance away is where Devon manages the field's farmer's market, where locals buy the fresh produce. You know, and I love what I do. I love the customer service. I love the fact that people rely on me to help them eat healthy. But originally, Devon did not aspire to work on the farm. After college, he actually went into sales and accounting, which ultimately helped him on his journey of managing the market. I think life deliberately takes us different places so that we can use it ultimately where we're supposed to. And I felt like I got all that experience to bring back here to, you know, take this farm store and the farm to the next level. When Fields Farm was established in the 1940s, Devon mentioned that it was a necessity at that time, as his family was of Gullah Geechee descent, and they didn't have many skills apart from being farmhands. When we see that there are not as many farms on Johns Island as there were, you know, 30, 40 years ago, you know, to me, being in it, it's a sign of progress. You know, we, we don't have to do it the way we had to do it, you know, 30, 40 years ago. Meet 21-year-old Xavier Dillahunt, the great-grandson of Robert Sr. in legacy of Fields Farms. Even though I just started recently living here again, it's always been the most consistent part of my life because it feels like a home to me. And just being away from it for an extended period of time, it just feels like I'm leaving a part of myself behind. And I just want to live on it and continue working this equipment, make it better, as well as keep going what my family has been doing for about five generations. Devon says Xavier loved the farm since being a little kid, and as he still holds that passion to this day, he truly entrusts that he will carry on the legacy for years to come. But well, right now it's impressive because, you know, he's interested in developing the land and, li and living off of the land, and. I don't know that you see that a whole lot now. You know, this is something that either you love it or you don't. I don't know that there's an in-between anymore. 
Fields Farm legacy continues with the great-grandson Xavier Dillahunt. You can catch the Fields Farmers Market open daily from Tuesday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Reporting from Johns Island, I'm Zandria Mays.